Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Zooty Pickups. In today's video, we'll be talking about the NASA X-Vans Skate High MTEs in the white or marshmallow colorway. So these shoes released November 2nd of 2018 for a retail price of 110 US dollars. They came out as part of a capsule that consisted of five pairs of shoes, uh, some pieces of apparel and some pieces of luggage like a backpack and a duffel. Uh, the five shoes were two old schools, uh, one in uh, high vis orange, one in white, uh, and two uh, skate highs, one in black and one in white, and a pair of uh, youth skate highs, which was black and white. Uh, I thought the youth skate highs were actually pretty sick. I wish they made that in a big size, like adult size. But anyway, I digress. Uh, the I think most of the hype on the release was for the white old schools because that is definitely like a sick looking shoe with a Kennedy Space Center print on it. But I personally decided to go for the skate highs because I thought they looked the most like a Apollo lunar boot. So um, yeah, I have them right here. I actually, in fact, all the other shoes in the collection, um, they have a lot of design motifs and design elements taken from NASA's missions, whether it be the space shuttle program, uh, the Voyager space probe, or the uh, the Apollo mission. So I thought that was super cool um, how they in implemented little pieces. Like the orange on the old schools, they took that orange from the, the ACES suit, the orange jumpsuit that astronauts wear when they're uh, going up into space and coming back down to Earth. Um, and obviously, you know, you have the the Apollo kind of like white spacesuit motif going on with uh, these white shoes. Overall, the, the concept of the collaboration and the execution was just awesome. And I think I can speak for anyone who grew up in the last, I don't know, like 30 years that we all kind of grew up looking uh, up to NASA and wanting to become astronauts. So this collab was just super cool. When I saw it drop, I knew I had to get myself something from it. So uh, here is my skate high, the shoe I decided to go for. Um, you can see that it is done up in this beautiful marshmallow leather that is ultra supple. This leather is probably one of the softest, butteriest leathers I felt on a Vans shoe. I, I've never felt anything like this. It's very soft to the touch, super buttery. I, I, we're talking about like shattered backboard levels of butteriness here. And for like a $110 shoe, that ain't bad. Like, so in terms of material choice, I give them a A+. Uh, let's talk about the construction of the shoe a little bit. Uh, so this is a MTE Skate High, which means Mountain Edition. So what that gives you is it gives you kind of like some weatherproofing and some cold insulation. So these are, you know, shoes that are meant to be worn as kind of like boots. So um, the paneling on the toe is slightly different and there is actually a inner booty that kind of uh, keeps water out and keeps heat out. In. So you can't really see the booty from the outside, but the booty is there. It's inside the shoe and it wraps your toe so no water gets in. And as you can see, the uh, weatherproof lining does come up all the way to the top of the tongue, this orange uh, mesh here. Uh, the toe panel construction is slightly different as well. So you can see that there is a toe cap sewn onto the toe box right here that normal skate highs don't have. So these are the born free skate highs that I got a couple of months ago. And you can see the toe box difference here. This is just a normal uh, one piece toe box. There's no additional panel. You can see on the MTE edition, there is a secondary reinforced toe box sewn on top for additional durability and uh, weatherproofness. So that is definitely cool that the shoe is functional and good looking at the same time. Um, although, honestly, I would never <laughs> wear these like outside um, when, you know, when it's raining or go hiking in them or anything like that. But I mean, it's always cool to know that you can if you want to. So moving on to the sides of the shoes, uh, we gotta talk about the exposed foam accents. So they've brought the material a little past the stitch line and exposed the foam on the lateral side here and on the medial side as well. So you got these uh, kind of like diagonal exposed foam bits. And of course, along the uh, heel collar here, you have some more exposed foam. So the skate highs usually have the three bubbles. Uh, you can see that the third bubble is cut short, exposing this uh, ballistic nylon kind of like black material here uh, right after the exposed foam. So this really adds to the whole kind of like, you know, space suit kind of uh, astronaut design theme and I really dig it. I think it definitely makes the shoe look super cool. <clears throat> uh, moving back to the uh, lateral side, we can see that you have a jazz stripe triple stitched in 
um, on the side here. Uh, the jazz stripe is done in pure white and you can see there's a slight contrast in color in between the marshmallow body leather and the white jazz stripe so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, flipping around to the other side, the medial side, you can see that it doesn't actually have a jazz stripe, but the outline is done the same way in triple stitching. And finally, the highlight feature, I think, of the sides of the shoes are these patches, the mission patches. On the white skate high, you have the JPL Voyager 1 and 2 patch. Uh, it's just the mission patch for the, the Voyager program. You can see it says JPL NASA Voyager 1 and 2, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and beyond. So this is really cool. I think anyone that grew up in the 90s or 80s, you know, closely monitored the progress of the Voyager 1 and 2 probes as they, uh, you know, circled a bunch of planets and um, slingshotted out of the Milky Way. Um, I believe they're still transmitting to this day, actually. But anyway, uh, super cool Voyager patch here. So this is the right shoe. So the Voyager patch is on the lateral side of the right shoe and it is a removable patch exposing a orange Velcro loop panel right here, which actually looks pretty sick without the patch. On the medial side, there is nothing, no patch. And moving to the left shoe, you can see that on the lateral side, you have the NASA patch. And on the right side, you have the astronaut logo. So that is super, super cool. Really digging all these patches. Definitely all these patches give off that spacesuit vibe. Actually, the, the patches don't stop there. So moving to the uh, middle of the shoe here where the tongue is, you can see there's another uh, Velcro loop panel right here at the top of the tongue with another removable patch. So the default patch that comes with the shoe, it is a high-vis orange Vans off the wall patch that is removable uh, you can put whatever patch you want on there i'm just going to leave this on here for now because i think the orange really ties everything together uh, moving down from under that uh, velcro panel you have this gray it's kind of like a space gray ballistic nylon panel um, kind of right here and it reinforces this uh, this uh, lace lock in the middle the ballistic space gray nylon it also kind of uh, invokes some space shuttle kind of like space flight theme so I think that is really cool that they kind of added a little bit of tonal contrast there uh, compared to the rest of the shoe which is pretty stark white uh, moving to the laces so the default laces that came with the shoe are these kind of like fat black laces um, these, I don't think these were that great, so I opted to replace the laces on the, the right pair. I'm still deciding which laces I'm going to put on here, but here I, I put on uh, some round Kevlar ballistic laces. So I think this definitely looks a lot cooler. Um, I just kind of took some inspiration from the, the DEF CON vans I have. So these are the same laces, the, the Kevlar ballistic laces. And I think it kind of like works a little better. It kind of... Uh, you know, fits in with the theme a little better to have that, uh, the rope laces on here. So I think um, it, it definitely works really well. Uh, although if I had some white laces or cream laces in this same kind of like form factor, I would definitely prefer those because I think it would be cooler if it was just all white instead of having the black. But the black does work because there are black trims all over the shoe. Like there's more ballistic uh, nylon piping trim right here on top of the tongue. And like I said earlier, there's the ballistic nylon uh, trim along the top of the heel cuff right here. Uh, speaking of the heel cuff, there is actually a leather pull tab on the back of the heel to help you put the shoe on. And um, moving on to the back of the shoe, you have NASA's slogan printed vertically along the spine of the heel. It says, for the benefit of all, and you can see that is repeated on both pairs. So nice little details right there. I really love that. So moving to the uh, inside of the shoe, you can see the inside is lined with that same black ballistic nylon. It just goes all the way down to the bottom of your heel area. And the uh, front of the shoe where your tongue is all the way up to your toe is lined with a orange weatherproof liner that's supposed to keep your foot warm and dry at the same time. Uh, another additional design detail that they have is they have some uh, blueprints kind of printed on the insole of the shoe. So on the right shoe, uh, you got what I believe is a Saturn V nose cone. So I don't know if you can really see that. The, the insoles are not removable, so I can't really show you that well, but there is a print of the Saturn V nose cone on there and the fire escape little tower. So that's pretty cool. On the um, left side, you got the Apollo command module. 
Um, I don't, you probably can't really see that, but yeah, there's a print of the Apollo command module there. So that's pretty cool. That's the, you know, the module that Tom Hanks and crew were stuck in, in Apollo 13. So now moving on to the outside of the shoe, uh, I think we have some really cool design features here, especially along the toe box. So the ribbed kind of edges here on the foxing tape, it's definitely reminiscent of the ribbed edges on the Apollo Lunar Overshoe. So I'll put up a picture right here. This is the famous shoe that made the first footprint on the moon. Uh, it's an iconic shoe. Uh, so. I, it definitely makes sense that Vans took some inspiration from that shoe and incorporated the ridges into the front and the heel of the shoe. So those are definitely super cool. On the back, you have your traditional Vans off the wall bumper sticker, uh, nothing too special there. And moving to the bottom, there's some final design highlights. You have the gradient outsole. Um, uh, this is a MTE outsole, by the way. So the lugs are reversed. They, they are pointing out. I don't know if you can see that, but the lugs do kind of like stick out. They're uh, opposite of normal vans to give you a little more traction. But anyway, the outsole is done in this beautiful kind of like Mars skyline gradient to I guess kind of go with the whole uh, interstellar travel theme. So I think that is super cool. Uh, definitely a very pretty looking outsole. Probably one of the prettiest outsoles I've seen on a vans yet. So yeah, that pretty much covers all the features and details of the shoe. Let's talk a little bit about the sizing and comfort. Uh, in terms of sizing, I think it fits a little tight uh, than a normal skate high because the sizing is exactly the same, yet you have all this like MTE stuff inside, the cold weather uh, resistance stuff and the water resistance stuff that adds a lot more padding uh, to the interior of the shoe, thus kind of like squishing your foot a little more. Uh, if you can, I say I would size up half a size, but if you can't, uh, it's totally fine. It's just like, it's not uncomfortable or anything, but you definitely feel a little tight. And I think over time, you know, as you wear the shoe out, the uh, padding will eventually kind of like squish down and it'll, it'll get better. So yeah, size down if you can, if you can't, it's fine, go true to size. In terms of comfort, uh, this is like the only kind of like main gripe I have with the shoe. The shoe's not very comfortable. Uh, there's really no way around it. It does have a ultra cush insole, but I don't think all ultra cush is created equal because this doesn't feel as comfortable as the ultra cush on my other Vans Pros. Th this is a lot more harder. Uh, there's just not enough cushion. Um, also the interior of the shoe, like I said earlier, was not is lined with this ballistic nylon, which makes the shoe like bomb proof and super durable, but it doesn't make it the most comfortable to wear. It's very rigid and not very flexible because of all that uh, heavy material in there. So, I mean, if you're wearing this like all day, I think you're definitely start, gonna start feeling some foot fatigue just due to the fact that the sole is not that soft and the, the upper is pretty rigid. Um, it's definitely not a super uncomfortable shoe, but it's not the kind of shoe that you want to be wearing if you're gonna be on your, 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 your feet all day. So uh, just one thing to note there. So finally, before I end the video, I would just like to um, highlight one issue I had with the construction, the quality. Um, like I said, the, the material quality was great, but I don't know if it's just my pair, but the stitching quality on mine, it's, it's kind of uh, abysmal. Like if you look at the jazz stripe here, uh, the three um, parallel stitch lines that keep the jazz stripe in place, you can see they're kind of like all over the place and not uh, totally parallel to each other. They definitely could have done better there. Um, it looks like a six year old did it or something. And also this, uh, the NASA patch, you can see it's all kind of wrinkly right there. Uh, they, it's like they use the cheapest patch that they can find. So it's not thick enough. It, it wasn't substantial enough. So it like wrinkled really bad when they uh, sewed it on. Kind of the same thing for the astronaut patch on the other side, not the best quality. Um, the stitching issues kind of continue um, on the uh, right side as well. You can see <laughs> on the medial side here, the stitching is not very parallel on the outline of the, the jazz stripe right there. So, I mean, little things like that. Um, I don't know if it's just my pair, like I said, or if any, everyone else got this issue, but I guess for $110 and the materials that we get, I guess that's kind of like, you know, nitpicking, but you know, it'd be nice if they QA'd that kind of thing and made sure badly stitched shoes like this didn't go out to the customer. Obviously no one's gonna ever notice this except me. No one's ever gonna be looking at your shoe that close, but you know, for me, like knowing that that's there, that does bother me a little bit, but you know, at this point, all the cool features of this shoe definitely overshadow that little minor detail.
so yeah, um, definitely super cool collaboration between NASA and Vans. Um, <laughs> I'm still tickled that I got a pair of these. I think these shoes are a great conversation starter. People that normally don't care about sneakers, you know, the total non-sneaker heads, are gonna see these on your feet and be like, oh, you know, those are really cool shoes. Cause like everyone loves NASA, like I said, like those are, those are really sick shoes, where'd you get them? So uh, yeah, I think these are gonna be definitely one for the collection. So yeah, I'm gonna throw these on feet so you guys can see what they look like. And once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.